the very first patch of Star Citizen Alpha 3.20 just released into Evo Cardi. And um, as usual, the pipeline provided the leaks, and we're gonna go straight into it. This one is specifically for Arena Commander uh, Master Mode. Um, this is just a limited test for that specifically. All right, so they're gonna be doing this testing tonight and tomorrow as well, strictly for the first wave of Evo Cardi, I guess. Well, it could be just all of the Evo Cardi. The build focus is um, Master Mode Duo. Master Mode Free Flight and Master Mode Vandal Swarm, which is new. So they have uh, the, the, the test schedule listed here. I'm not going to read through that, but um, what we're going to do is going to go through some of the changes um, shown here. It says, as always, PvP and Arena Commanders, depending on the game mode, expect to be shot in duels and dogfighting, but uh, not purposely attack others in Free Flight and Vandal Swarm without all parties agree agreeing. All right, so when it comes to flight model changes, it says uh, tri is not possible anymore. The strongest acceleration axis is forward. Pitch and yaw cannot be combined anymore. Gladius agility was increased and boost and regens were adjusted. Under master mode, it says, it says master modes added press B to swap between nav and scm scm allows high capacitor regen rate shields and weapons but restricts maximum speed thruster boost and afterburner will temporarily allow you to extend beyond the scm boundaries nav mode allows high speed but no shields and weapons it heavily restricts regen rates swapping between master mode is not immediate shield faces health is stored in a buffer up to a certain ratio when going in from SEM to NAV. When going from NAV to SEM, that buffer will quickly push back into the faces. The shield face generation from that buffer cannot be interrupted by incoming fire. Interesting, interesting. Under gunnery changes, it says new aiming system is enabled. Combined fixed assist was removed. Fixed assist per gun was added. Auto gimbal modes instead of keeping Instead of keeping the target in a 8 degree cone, you only need to keep the target roughly around your aim point and your gimbal will track. When your auto gimbals are not tracking, they will act like manual gimbals. Fixed modes, there is one pip for projectile speed group. You will see one pip for the KLWEs and one for the GATs. Manual gimbal modes now also has fixed assists for each gun. They added the option shown position lines from fixed and manual gimbal mode. And they added the option auto gimbal display focused on the average pip or focused on target with gimbal position indicators. New target bracket, drastically increased ballistic ammo. Oh, nice, okay. Removed N1 system and S3 gimbal will now hold an S3 gun with penalty oh interesting okay custom weapon stats for gladius weaponry and shield layout for the use gladius is now front and back okay targeting changes r is for closest hostile t cycles hostiles in view and five cycles all view all in view under auto targeting it says if no target is present or if you press left alt r the closest visible hostile will be targeted targeting will be automatically swapped if better targets are in view any manual target control will cancel that process added binding to allow setting the default convergence distance directly from an input axis however there is no ui for this yet added binding to suppress aim assist as long as the button is held use it when you feel that aim assist works against you are right, you guys already know what to do leave a like subscribe i'll see you on the next video